Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we are going to talk about HTML. What is HTML? HTML is a language for describing web pages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a markup language. A markup language is a set of markup text. The text describes document content. HTML document contains HTML text and plain text. HTML documents are also called web pages. Since the early days of the web, there have been many versions of HTML. In year 1991, it's called HTML. 1993, it's called HTML+. In year 1995, it's called HTML 2.0. In year 1997, it's called HTML 3.2. In year 1999, it's called 4. HTML 4.01. And in year 2000, it's called XHTML and now HTML5 in year 2012. HTML markup tags are usually called HTML tags. HTML tags are keywords, tag names surrounded by angle brackets like HTML. HTML tags normally come in pairs like P for paragraph and close bracket for P again. The first tag in a pair is the start tag. The second tag is the end tag. The end tag is written like the start tag with a slash before the tag name. And the, the start and the end tags are also called opening tags and closing tags. The purpose of a web browser such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari is to read HTML documents and display them as web pages. So the browser does not display the HTML text, but uses the tag to determine how the content of the HTML page is to be presented or displayed to the user, like this. So you will see in the browser, my first heading, that is the output of the HTML tag. So the next is the HTML page structure. Below is a visualization of a HTML page structure. So we have a head that is HTML, okay, and then we have body. And in the body, we can write our header, that is header one. Then we can write also the paragraph. This is the paragraph, and we can also write another paragraph like this, and we close the tag with a backslash body here, the end bracket and also we close the whole HTML page structure with a backslash HTML tag. Now I'm going to show you how to write HTML using notepad or text edit. HTML can be edited by using a professional HTML editor like Adobe Dreamweaver, Microsoft Expression Web, Coffee Cup HTML editor, and uh, however, for learning HTML, we recommend a text editor like Notepad for PC or Text Edit for Macintosh. We believe using a simple text editor is a good way to learn HTML. Follow the four steps to create your first web page with Notepad. The first step, step one, open the Notepad. To open the Notepad in Windows 7 or earlier version, click Start, the bottom left of your screen. Click All Programs, click Accessories, and click Notepad. To open Notepad in Windows 8 or later, open the Start screen, the window symbol at the bottom left of your screen. Type Notepad. Step 2. Write some HTML tag. So how are you going to write the HTML tag is you just now when they explained to you a Notepad, you have already opened a Notepad. So now we are in the Notepad editor. So you write down the HTML and then you have the body tag and write down let's say header 1, my first heading and then close bracket again. Then my first paragraph, you write the tag and slash backslash paragraph again and then close back again the body and then backslash the HTML tag. So this is how you write a HTML tag on a notepad. Step 3. Save the HTML page. 
save the file on your computer. Select File, Save as in the Notepad menu. When saving an HTML file, use either .htm or .html file extension. There is no difference, it is entirely up to you. Step 4. Now you can view the HTML tag page in your browser. So this is the output of the tag. Just now you write my first header 1, that is my first heading. And then the paragraph, my first paragraph. So this is the output of what you have typed in in the notepad. So now let's go for all the examples or the exercises of HTML. So let's start with HTML headings, how you want to write HTML headings. So HTML headings are defined with header 1 to header 6 text. Example, H1, this is the heading H1. So how you write, that is the open bracket and the ending uh, tag. Header 2, this is the heading. And also header 3, this is the heading for header 3. So for paragraph, for HTML paragraph, it is also defined with the P paragraph tag. Okay, So you will open the tag P and this is the paragraph and backslash tag for P, close the tag. And so as the other paragraph, another paragraph, you close with the backslash paragraph again. So this is the output for the heading 1 to heading 6. So you will notice that heading 1 is bigger than heading 2, then heading 3, heading 4, heading 5 and heading 6. So heading 6 is the smallest tag, uh, is the smallest font size. For paragraph, this is the output of the paragraph. So each tag will have a different paragraph. So if you write down three times the paragraph, you will have three paragraph. So this is the output. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. So three paragraph. The output of the links will be So this is the output of the uh, tag that you have done. For HTML images, HTML images are defined as in the image tag. So example, image source, you write down the name of the file and if the extension is .jpg, jpeg file, alt, alternate at w3school.com and you have the width and the height size. So if you drew this, you see the output will be This is the output okay, for W3Schools JPEG files. This is the graphic of W3Schools. For HTML text formatting, you can either bold, italic, or you can write the uh, output such as subscript and superscript. So HTML uses text like uh, bold, B, and I for formatting output like bold or italic text. Okay. These HTML tags are called formatting tags. And look at the bottom of this page for the complete reference. Sometimes the bold we can use as strong for bold okay. and EM renders for italic. So we use the tag for bold or I to define uh, bold or italic text only. So look at the output when we write bold. This is the text of bold. So you will see that this is the bold text. And for italic, this is the italic text when it is written as slash i. And this is the computer output. Let's say we write a code. So this is the coding for computer output. And if it, we write the subscript and superscript, this is how we write code and this is the output for subscript and superscript. The head element, okay, the HTML head element. The head element is a container for all head elements. Elements inside the head, 
can include script, instruct the browser, where to find style sheets, provide meta information and more. The following text can be added to the head section that is title, style, meta, link, script, no script and base. For example, the HTML title element, the title tag defines the title of the document. The title element is required in all HTML or XHTML document. The title element defines a title in a browser toolbar, provides a title for the page when it is added to favorites, display a title for the page in search engine result. A simplified HTML document will be Look at this. This is how you type in the tag for the title. It is situated in the head area. HTML style example for background color. The background color property defines the background color for an element. Example, how you want to write the background color, you will write in the uh, body style equals to inverted commas, background, dash, color, colon, yellow and close the inverted commas and close the tag back. So this is how you write the background color and let's see the output. So this is the heading and it is written in a red color. Okay. Because the headed background color is red. And then this is the paragraph and the background color of the text is green. So this is green color for the background of the text. HTML style example for font, color and size. The font family color and font size properties defines the font, color and size of the text in an element. So this is an example of how you write the uh, font color and the font size. Okay. So you write in the uh, body text, there is H1 style font family, let's say Verdana. And then the heading, a heading is the title. And then the paragraph is uh, font family Arial, color red, font size 20 pixel, and the text is a paragraph. For HTML style example for text alignment, the text align property to specify the horizontal alignment of text in an element. Example, if you want to do the uh, alignment, you write in the body H1 style text align colon center. So it will center align the heading and the paragraph is, let's say you want to write some text, this is a paragraph and you close with backslash HTML. Let's look at the output. So this is the output for a heading, which is a font size uh, header 1, a heading, and the red font size because we specify it red, and this is a paragraph of size 20 pixel. This is the output for the uh, center align heading where you write text align center and this is the uh, header one center align heading and the next is the paragraph this is a paragraph so you can see the difference between the header and the paragraph html images the image img tag and the source src attribute in HTML, images are defined with the image tag. The image tag is empty, which means that it contains attributes only and has no closing tag. The display an image on a page, you need to use the source attribute. Source stands for SRC stands for source. The value of the SRC attribute is the URL of the image you want to display. So the, dis the syntax that you are going to write is IMG src that is the source where you want to get the source you write in inverted commas and alternate to some text so the url points to the location where the image is stored an image name both dot gif 
located in the images directory on the www.3schools.com has the URL http colon backslash www.w3schools.com images backslash boat.gif The browser displays the image where the image tag occurs in the document. If you put an image tag between two paragraphs, the browser shows the first paragraph, then the image, and then the second paragraph. For the HTML images set height and width of an image, the height and the width attributes are used to specify the height and width of an image. The attribute values are specified in pixels by default. So image source equals to, let's say, smiley.gif, alternate smiley face, and you specify the width 42 inch, and the height is also 42. So it is a good practice to specify both the height and the width attributes of an image. HTML tables. Tables are defined with the tag table tags. A table is divided into rows with TR tag. TR stands for table row. A row is divided into data cells with the TD tag. TD stands for table data. A row can also be divided into headings with th tag. th stands for table heading. The td elements are the data containers in the table. The td elements can contain all sorts of HTML elements like tags, images, lists, other tables, and etc. The width of the table can be defined using CSS. So this is an example how you want to write the uh, table for HTML tag. So you write table style equals to width 300 pixel and then the table row and then followed by table data. So we have Jill as uh, one the, the, the data, Smith and also 50 as the data, table data. And then the next row and then the next row of the table data oh, will be if Jackson and 94 and then we close the tag with backslash tr for table row and we close the tag with backslash table let's look at the output so this is the output Jill if John is the first row of the table data and this is the second row Smith Jackson though and 1594 is another data for the third row. An HTML table with a border attribute. If you do not specify a border for the table, it will be displayed without borders. So let's try with borders. So a border can be added using the border attribute. So we, tab we write down the uh, t tag table border equals to 1, let's say that is 1 inch, and the style width is 300 pixel. So this is the same thing like how we have written just now, table row and then the table data. So we have two table data and then we close with backslash table row and backslash table again. So this is the output. So this is the output where you can see there's a border of one inch. Okay. HTML unordered list. An, an unordered list starts with the uh, UL tag. Each list item starts with the uh, LI tag okay, for list order. The list items are marked with bullets, typically small black circles. So if you write uh, UL, that is the unordered list, and then in between you write list. Okay. So you have coffee and then list item let's say you have the list item milk and then you close back with the unordered list so here is the uh, output if you write in the uh, if you write like that the is uh, output in the browser there is a uh, bullet coffee and then bullet milk so this is called unordered list for html ordered list an ordered list starts with an ol ordered list tag each list item starts with the li list item tag. The list items are marked with numbers. So let's say 
an uh, ordered list and then we start off with the uh, list item coffee and milk and then we have to close with backslash ordered list so the html code will look into the uh, looks in the browser like this number 1 for coffee number 2 for milk so this is called ordered list html description list a description list is a list of terms or names with a description of each term or name. So the the DL description list tag defines a description list. The description list tag is used in conjunction with a table data define terms or name or DD describe of each term or name. So you have the uh, description list, you have table data okay a description of the terms coffee and then description describe the terms black hot drink and then the description terms milk and then the description or describe the term that is white cold drink and you close with the uh, backslash de description list so this is how it looks in the browser we have coffee and then indent a slash for black hot drink to describe the coffee, milk, and then indent white hot, white cold drink to describe the milk. Now I would like to tell you about the HTML layouts using divisions of elements. The division element is a block level element using for grouping HTML elements. So these are how you write the uh, tag. Okay. So you write the body and then you divided it to ID, let's say container. Then you have the H1 style margin. And then you close the uh, division again. You have the background color. And then uh, you have the HTML break, CSS break and JavaScript. And then you have the uh, content of the background for division ID content and then you have the division ID for footer and then you close the division back again by backslash division and all this you write in the body okay and you close in the backslash HTML again so let's look at the output for this tag So this is the uh, output for the HTML code that you write with division. So that's the uh, how you write the output for the uh, division. Okay. Radio button. The input for type of radio. So you write in defines a radio button. Radio button lets a user use select only one of a limited number of choices. So this is how you write the uh, tag for radio button. That is form, input type equals to radio, name is whatever text that you want to write, and then you have the value, okay, and you have the mail break. That is, let's say we put in for sex, and then input type radio, name let's say sex for female and female. So we close back the form. And this is how it looks in the uh, browser. So it is a radio button where the user can only choose once, either male or female. Okay. For check boxes, input type is check box. Define a check box. Check boxes let a user select zero or more options of a limited number of choices. So the form, input type, check box, name, vehicle, value is equals to bike. And let's say they write the text of I have a bike. Input type, let's say check box. Name, that's a vehicle again. Value car, I have a car. And close back the form. So this is the output, how the HTML code above looks in a browser. I have a bike and I have a car. So the user can check, tick which check box they have. For submit button, input type that is submit defines a submit button. A submit button is used to send form data to a server. The data is sent to the page specified in the forms action attribute. The file defined in the action attribute usually does something with the receive input. 
So let's say font name is equals to input action demo form action ASP file method to get. The username is input type text name and then the input type submit value equals to submit and close the form. So this is how it looks where in the browser where you have the username and then you have the form and you have the button submit. Color values. The cascading style sheets CSS colors are defined using a hexadecimal de decimal hexa hex notation for the combination of red, green, and blue color values RGB. The lowest value that can give that can be given to one of the light sources is zero hex zero zero. The highest value is two five five hex FF. Hex values are written as three double digit numbers starting with a hash sign. The color examples. So these are the examples of the uh, color that you can use in your tag. So let's see what's the output. So when you look at the output, this is how you write the uh, background color. Let's say hash FFF. Okay, and you can see that this is the uh, color set by using the hex. That means you have the yellow color there. And next is let's say background color is RGB two five five zero. So you will see that that this is the color that is set for RGB color. And the next one is background color yellow. Color set by username color name. So that is the text and that is the uh, background color yellow. HTML audio. Let's say uh, this is the best solution where we have the controller for the uh, audio. The best solution is to use the HTML5 audio element plus the uh, end back element. The example is like this. So example audio control where we have the controller. That's why we write the audio controls. Source src equals to let's say it is a host uh, sound dot mp3 type audio is an mpeg file. So we write the uh, source that is a dot ogg where you get the source and type is audio backslash ogg. Mpeg height that is a uh, 50 and the width is 100 and the source is dot uh, host dot mp3 and you close the bracket with backslash audio again. So this is how you get the uh, output for inserting audio. Okay, you can try the audio. So now we can do, we can play videos in HTML tag also. So this is how we write the uh, HTML tag for video. So we put in video width 320 height 240 controls, the source movie.mp4 type video slash mp4. So we have the video source, okay, and then we have the object data, and then we embed the source, and we close with the uh, object again, and backslash video. So let's try the output, see how we write the source for video. So this is how we get the output for the video. Okay. Okay. Playing a YouTube video in HTML, if you want to play a video in a web page, you can upload the video to a YouTube and insert the proper HTML code to display the video. So example, if YouTube with iframe, you write the tag with iframe width, let's say 420, height 345, and you write the source with the full URL, okay, address, and you close with iframe. And the one without the uh, iframe, if you just embed the YouTube, you write embed width, same like what I said just now, 420, 345 for the height, source, the URL address, and type, let's say we want the application with X uh, shortwave for flash. 
So let's see the difference between iframe and without the frame. So this one is the YouTube with the frame and without the frame. So the YouTube without the frame. This is the YouTube. So I have talked about the uh, HTML tag and I've introduced to you all the uh, HTML. I talk about the structure of the HTML and I talk how to in, uh, start off with HTML using the notepad. And then I introduce to you all about how to write in the images, the source, okay? And then I introduce to you all also about the uh, ordered list, unordered list, how to fill in the table data and table row. And I also introduce to you all how to write the, uh, to write the uh, tag for inserting audio and last of all is how to insert video and also YouTube tag into the uh, HTML tag. So let's try and see how the output and all the best for HTML tag users. Thank you.